When I heard that we were going back to school, I was so excited, but then the, the second thing I thought was about choir, and I love choir, I love to sing, so through a mask I was like, oh, I don't think we're going to be able to sing, there's so much stuff going into the air when you talk, um, and with a mask I thought it would be so much harder, but I've been so blessed by these, the singer masks and my friends and Miss Mongerio and what she's doing to help us through this time. <laughs> We've had to change the way we do things by quite a bit. Normally my students sit close together so they can hear each other. A lot of times we'd sing in circles. That is not allowed. So we're going by some recommendations from a Colorado University study um, that are very specific, like 30 minutes in a space. They are spread six feet from apart at, at all times. I'm very strict about it. Masks at all times. And then we've gotten them the singer's masks, which give them some more space to sing into. It's basically like it looks like a duck, you know, like a duck's beak, but it adds so much resonant um, in your face and when you sing, and it's so much better to breathe. I honestly have told my colleagues, like, I would recommend this for anybody teaching, talking all day, because a typical mask is flat on your face. So, I mean, when I breathe, I'll, like, literally suck it into my mouth sometimes. Um, but these stick out from the face so that there's nothing against you. Also, there's this space here so you can really open your mouth tall um, where you can't in a regular mask where it slips down. And then just so that they are not they're, they're breathing freely. So they just have really allowed us to do, I mean, the best we can in these circumstances. I miss the full, the full sound of them not being muffled, but a lot of my colleagues are not singing. So I'm just, I'm glad we've found a way to do it. Oh.